Well, howdy, 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 near new senior citizen here, greetings, boys and girls, and welcome to this, another brand new day, and time for the Daily Shelton Weather Report. It is raining periodically outside, it is gray and dim, thumbs up for that, it's, maybe it's going to clear up later, that's fine, whether or not it does, it happens, definitely a, a good thing. Oh, now I've got carbon dioxide trying to escape from my body. Ugh. But even though I was trying to keep it prisoner, I just couldn't force it down anymore. <laughs> Why would you keep it prisoner? Why not? Oh boy, yesterday was a good day and a not a good day. Started off a not bad day at all. I did my vlog and I felt good during my vlog. I had to record a game and I still have to edit the footage for that for later on on this channel, my second video of the day. And things were fine, but I was starting to feel kind of uh, something going on. And then by noontime, while things were rendering, I was falling asleep and I wasn't doing so good. I still managed to get up and out and I walked down and I paid my rent. So that was good. I got some exercise in you know, that was time that I wasn't just sitting here sleeping in this chair. So when I got back, I tried to do what I could. I wanted to record because ugh, this is like day two or three now that I've gone without any videos on my game channel. Ugh. I mean, nobody watches it. It'd be nice if people did. I'm lucky if I get like 30 views on a video, so thumbs up for that. But it, it still, again, it provides form and structure for an otherwise formless and structureless life. So even though I don't get paid for it, it's thumbs up. So it wasn't really wonderful that way. And then by the end of the night, I was not feeling better, but not falling asleep as much. So I wanted to go to bed really, really early, but then I would have been up like two o'clock in the morning. So thumbs up for that. But I was in bed about 1130-ish, because if I fall asleep any earlier, again, I'll be up way too early. So, but this time, instead of pain-related insomnia, I woke up early because my housemates actually were up and making noise and that woke me up at, at like 4.30, 5 o'clock. Not terrible, I mean, I would have woke up anyway. So, but this time it was because of them, you know, hacking and coughing and sneezing and going up and down the stairs and stuff. They went to bed too early, so they woke up like four o'clock in the morning. Thumbs up for that, you gotta love insomnia. So, it's, it's gonna be a great day. <laughs> Hopefully, I'm not going to be falling asleep as much. Hopefully, not at all. Ugh. Here's hoping, anyway. Definitely a thumbs up on that. So, I checked on Dr. Snurf last night so I could put on more of the stuff onto him. And I'm hoping that the, the, the ointment, if he does rub it off, that he doesn't this like then lick it off. And if he does, and if he does eat the stuff that I'm putting on him, I hope it's not bad for him because again his fur is is growing back those big bald spots are becoming not bald spots and so again I don't know if there was fungus or mites but I hope whatever it is that it the treatment doesn't end up in this case being worse than the disease because the treatment if it kills him uh, yeah but he's doing well you know he's he i gave him i gave the hamsters milk bones today because hamsters it's they can actually it's not a complete food but they like dog bones milk bones and that's okay you can feed that to them and he grabbed it and he was chewing on it and snurfing so thumbs up for that all of my little hamatrons are doing well Gojira, I gave every single one of them. They, they were like little mini dog bones and I broke them in half. She's gotten hers and is chowing on it. 
all the other two here are still asleep and so they don't have theirs but they will so it'll be good it's you have to remember hamsters are actually omnivores they're not herbivores they will gladly eat meat and you can give them actual meat meat you know beef and chicken and stuff like that and they love it it's good also a very good source of meat of course too many of courses my apologies but is insects that love crickets and mealworms such like that they're really really good for them and because i have bin cages like this and open windows occasionally a bug will fly in that gets too close to a, a hamster and it gets nabbed and yum, 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 yum. so i mean you want to be careful about that i mean outdoor things there's parasites and bacteria so you don't want just too much wild stuff that's why you buy crickets and mealworms and such like that from stores so that they can eat them that way you can get live mealworms you can get freeze-dried mealworms so it there's a lot of different ways and it's all good definitely a thumbs up i like that they have alternatives for animals that so that you can feed them like if you have snakes i forgot what the stuff is but it's a replacement so that you don't have to feed them like live animals. It's a this day thing you squeeze out and then you feed your snake that. And so that's cool. I'm very glad that they make that sort of alternative. Definitely a good thing. Because I imagine there are people that really like, you know, snakes and stuff, but also like rodents. So, you know, we're not going to feel too happy you know, giving rodents to your, to your, to your reptiles. <coughs> Excuse me. Past that though, just existing, watching videos, thinking, trying to, trying to be creative. I'm always thinking on my cosmic horror pantheon and the characters thereof. Thinking of Tammy's world. I've mentioned, you know, the character Tammy Bayman, who. In the context of the Cosmic Horror Pantheon, in her world, in her universe, Kadiron has gotten its attention in a universe too close to the heat and the pressure that's radiating outward. Any universe within that field of influence, well, the heat and the pressure, it's melting the underpinnings and such of reality. So things are creaking and bending, getting out of place, and stuff from outside's getting in. In about a hundred years in her world, because unfortunately what's a very short amount of time for cosmic horrors is like uh, longer than the our universe will last, because time is a weird thing. So, <laughs> but uh, things aren't going to go well for her world. In about a hundred years, the developed nations are going to start collapsing governmentally. Up until that time, the not-so-developed nations are going to be just collapsing and, and burning. And then it's about 75, 100 years, that's when the last bastions, the developed nations, are going to start collapsing governmentally. And then, well, it's just going to keep getting worse because you know, they're going to try and hold things together on a state government level until that falls apart. Then you try to hold stuff together on a city level and even that's too big and falls apart and it's just not going to end well for their universe. And the thing is, of course, Kadiron doesn't know or care. Its attention is far, far away. It's just the incidental, oh, you got too close to where we were working. Where we're welding, we put up signs that said, make sure to wear your eye protection. You didn't wear eye protection. What do you expect? Well, it's like, well, we didn't see the sign. You didn't write it in our language and you put it in a different building and we were driving, being driven here by someone else. And it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. Things just aren't going to end well for her universe. Bummer. <clears throat> but then, of course, that's the joy of a multiverse. You can tell stories where the Earth gets destroyed by the cosmic horrors. And then the next story, uh, you're still talking about the same people. Because 
each universe there's an effectively <coughs> if you subscribe to the many worlds hypothesis and if you subscribe to this particular uh, interpretation of the many worlds hypothesis being you know really stretched out to the last limits of plausibility for this type of story well, after each universe spawns an infinite number of other universes, and other universes are born just naturally, so there's an infinite amount of universes. <clears throat> after all, I like to say just because it points things out, you know, in one universe, our universe, on the other side of our universe, inside one galactic structure, inside of one galaxy of that galactic structure in one solar system inside of that galaxy good lord <coughs> my apologies in just one planetary system of that solar system just on one planet just on one continent of that planet on one beach in one grain of sand on that beach in one molecule of that grain of sand in one atom of that molecule in one quark well not even a quark in one proton of the atom of the molecule in one of the quarks that makes up the proton each femtosecond and there are more femtoseconds in one second than there are normal seconds between the 65 million years between the last of the big dinosaurs and now each one of those quarks has an infinite number of directions it can move and because of that each decision each place that it can go spawns a new universe where it does and so literally there is infinity in a grain of sand cool so yeah you'll never run out of earths to destroy and and humanity to eliminate uh in that kind of thing thumbs up for that <laughs> Although I don't plan on destroying humanity on a regular basis, you know, there's also stories of hope. Individual stories like, like uh, Tammy Bayman, who again, I've mentioned that because of Kadiron's pressure, most people tend to go downward toward the negative, negative emotions. She went upward and now has extra stuff on top of that where, yeah, she just can't be killed in many normal ways if she wades into a fight she's going to accidentally win she'll be bruised and maybe bleeding a little bit but she will win and look around going all i did was fall down almost break my ankle and then i clonked my head and when i woke up everyone else was dead so it's that sort of situation thumbs up for that Past that though, just living, just surviving, trying to be creative, trying to do my best, trying to work around my own physical limitations, trying not to get irate at myself when I have issues with my own physical issues and don't get as much done as I want. Hopefully I can get some phone calls made. I need to order some new masks for my sleep apnea machine because if the mask I have right now breaks, I got nothing. So I need to order some new ones of those. I need to call for, I keep forgetting what it is, which is why I can't call for it because we can't remember how do you call. And still, of course, the food stamps. Ugh. I don't have actual executive dysfunction, but there is something called executive dysfunction where you can't make decisions. And a lot of people talk about having it, but if you did have it, you wouldn't even be able to make the decision to talk about it. So it's not actual executive dysfunction. But it sure feels like it because I want to get stuff done and I need to get things done and I just can't. So thumbs up for that. And of course, coming over to this camera and boy, that joint in my back is just, it is on fire, it has been on fire for a week. It is agony. Thumbs up. Joy. I've also opened up 24 hours worth of comments in my community tab. And I'm going to go through and thank 20 to 25 people for having left me a comment. I am not 
reading the comments right now. I'm going to read them afterward, but I'm just thanking you for having left a comment right now. If I mispronounce the username, no disrespect is intended. I'm an American English speaker. We're just not good at that. And if I mispronounce the username, no disrespect is intended. Did I just say this part? It is a range of 20 to 25 because even though I count an American Sign Language, oh, my brain, you see how it works or doesn't. So thumbs up on whatever I was just doing there. <laughs> oh, my goodness. You have to laugh. It is funny. Like I said, I was talking with my therapist about that as well. It's like, you know, you, when you make a mistake or stuff goes wrong, quote unquote, you have to laugh because it it is funny. If it happened to somebody else, you would laugh. The only reason it's not funny is because it happened to you. You know, so if it's objectively funny, ob subjectively not, take the objective look and laugh because it's funny. Definitely a thumbs up. So now let me call it my crown. And we have Nikki, thank you very, very much. And Joe Flood, thank you. Johann Sebastian Bach, greatly appreciated. Gamer Lego Card Kid, <coughs> thumbs up and thank you. Harum Bra, thank you very, very much. Mateus, I do not know how to pronounce your, your last name, but thank you very, very much. And Sam Porter, thumbs up and thank you. Kitsune, 1402, thumbs up and thank you very, very much. We have Fat Boy, greatly appreciated. And yes, Kathy Kiskat, good to see you in the comments. And Dalton James, greatly appreciated. Connor McEwen, I think that might be how it's pronounced. I hope, thank you very much. Bella Cor, thank you very, very much. And Sebastian Ferris, greatly appreciated. We have Elena Gabone, I sure hope I'm close. Thank you very, very much. We have Elliot Whoa, D-Z-I-E-R-Z-A-N-O-W-S-K-I. I try to guess, but with a name like that, it could actually be pronounced Smith. So thank you very, very much. And then we have The Princess, greatly appreciated. Paulina Costa, greatly appreciated. And Bailey, thumbs up. We have Russian Timing, always good to see you in the comments. And we have Morphe with two eyes, thumbs up and thank you. Team Fingaz. <laughs> thumbs up elder wolf 569 greatly appreciated and i will go back promise you that made in canada thumbs up and thank you for the comments good to see you and casual yawn thumbs up for that thank you each and every one of you and thank you for the comment as well each and every one of you you get me make sure i'm halfway centered out of my head into the world dealing with real people it is greatly greatly appreciated definitely a thumbs up if you could, check out my various links down below. I have Twitter, Facebook, GoFundMe, Patreon.com. If you could donate to my GoFundMe campaign or become a Patreon.com patron like one of these beautiful and awesome people, that would be beautiful and awesome. If you want to help me out and wanted to send money but didn't want to send money to one of those two places, I have a PayPal link down below. That would be awesome if you could check that out. Definitely a thumbs up. And if you wanted to help me out but you didn't want to send money, I have an Amazon wish list link as well. With things like cat food, hamster food, hamster bedding, silly things, not silly things. If you could check it out, that would be very cool. Now, do not feel obligated. I do not feel entitled. And if you cannot donate or you simply do not donate, I take all good wishes and I deposit them in the bank of my heart. <clears throat> oh, where I draw interest so thank you very much if you could toss me a like I do appreciate all the positive validation I get from my existence definitely a thumbs up isn't it so wonderful when your speech parts just fail in mid talk <laughs> definitely a thumbs up and of course if you could subscribe to the channel that would be very cool greatly appreciated I would understand if you did not wish to but if you are down with it I will do my best to keep you entertained from now to literal end of time definitely a thumbs up the end of time being roughly uh, the about 13 14 15 years before I get old wither and die thumbs up for that hey mortality for the win anyway yeah, it's true. I mean, I don't want to die. I don't want to kick off, but you got to be realistic. I used to have long flowing locks of very thick hair. <sighs> Such is life. Well, though, I have this video that you've hopefully been watching. I mean, I'm talking to the people that are actually playing the video, not the people that aren't watching. I'm talking about the people that are watching, but actually aren't watching. So hopefully you're watching if you're watching. And if you are watching but not watching, you know, 
you might want to get medical attention. That sounds kind of bad. But, uh, as stated, I got that. I got a video that I need to edit and render. I got a video that I really should record and then edit and render for my game channel. Definitely a thumbs up. So, you take care. Have a great day today. I will see you on the flip side, my friend, and that is a very good thing. Take care of yourself. Uh, governments aren't here to protect you. You have to protect yourself.